I hate to say it, but I'm actually returning Apple Vision Pro. Here's why. Since the Apple Vision Pro debuted earlier this month, it's not comfortable. It does not replace this. Some Apple fanatics and early adopters are explaining why they chose to return the red hot headwear within the 14 day window allowed. If I wear this for more than two hours, I get a real bad migraine and my forehead just starts to hurt. Even though some are blown away by its immersive features, the complaints ranging from a lack of comfort to limited options for apps to a price tag that can easily touch north of $4,000. Narinder Walia tells us he'd gladly pay that hefty sum if he wasn't mainly using it to watch videos. Especially, he says, if the device can't be worn easily for hours in theater mode. After how long would you say you started to feel physical symptoms just from wearing the device? There was ice train after 45 minutes. The Wall Street Journal's Joanna Stern reviewed the product. I think part of one of the reasons these returns are happening is people get into the store and they're like, Holy wow, this is amazing. <laughs> and then they get home and then they realize, oh, I'm not going to use this thing so much. And I paid a lot of money. That wow factor convinced Luke Miani it was a worthwhile investment. I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park with just interacting with non-existent windows that appear to be floating in midair. But Mark Zuckerberg, not impressed, comparing the Apple Vision Pro to his Meta Quest 3. I don't just think that Quest is the better value. I think that Quest is the better product, period. As for the users showing up on the subway and even dinners with Apple Vision Pros on, hey, bud, I want some what's up with the pinchers? Miani called this kind of dystopian and likely not useful. Why bring it out to dinner with three of your good friends? I mean, it wasn't practical at all, but it was very fun. As for those who are wondering, is it really a good idea to bring these devices out in public? We've all seen these videos. Guys, the truth is these devices are not designed to work in motion, which is to say the features are not as effective when you're moving. They're meant for home or for office. We did, of course, also reach out to Apple to find out more information about how many of these devices have actually been returned. So far, we have not heard back. Back to you guys. All right, Sam, thank you so much. It's one thing when you look at the table next to you and like all the families on their phone. Another thing yeah, if they're all going to be on their like that. Apple Vision at once. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.